In this tutorial, we will be constructing an amortization schedule using the BA2 Plus calculator. An amortization schedule is a table that displays how a loan is repaid. It shows the payment number, the periodic payment amount, the interest included in each payment, the amount of principal repaid when a payment is made, and the outstanding principal balance. Let us look at an example. A loan of 20000 is to be repaid by four-year end payments. If interest is 8% compounded quarterly, calculate the size of the yearly payments, construct an amortization schedule. We begin by setting our P per Y and C per Y. Payments are made annually, so we will set uh, payments per year to 1, and we will set compounding frequency to 4, since interest is compounded quarterly. So we start by, by pressing second PY. So PY1, enter. We scroll down. And then we set CY to 4. 4, enter. Second, quit. There are four yearly payments. So N is going to be 4. We press 4N. Interest rate is 8%. Press 8, IY. Present value is 20,000. So we do 20,000 present value and then payment is what we want to compute we skip that for now and set feature value to zero zero feature value and then compute payment so the yearly payment should be six thousand and seventy one point one four now let's construct the amortization schedule to construct the amortization schedule which is partially completed below we first need to re-input the payment to two decimal places. That is 6071.14. It came out negative, so we make that negative and enter it as payment. Next, to complete the amortization schedule, we simply press second amort. For the first payment period, we set PY to 1. Enter, and then we set P2 also to 1, Enter. So when we scroll down here, we get the balance for the first period, the principal repaid in the first payment period, the interest included in that first payment. So we continue, we scroll down and set P1 to 2, Enter, we scroll down, P2 is also set to 2, Enter. And then we use the balance here to populate the balance cell for period two, the principal repaid in period two, and the interest. So we do the same thing for period three. Enter three for P1, and then enter three for P2 as well. So we scroll down, and then we get the balance, the principal repaid, and the interest. And finally, we do the same thing for period 4. 4, enter, scroll down, 4, enter, scroll down. The balance is 0, which means the loan has been paid off, and that's the principal repaid in that final payment, the interest in that final payment. Notice that P1 represents the starting period, and P2 represents the ending period. Next, we just calculate the totals and we're done with this example. Thank you.